Alright, I'm back. Episode number seven. I'm gonna be make your own game and this uh gonna continue where we left off. I hope I can remember some of the stuff we did before. It's been a couple days. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Turbo mode cool. and a hard mode, and I'm going to show you how to make multi-level menu navigation that we can use to Bam. navigate to our new game modes, including locked start buttons on each mode for the player to work towards. In part three, we went over world settings in great detail, and one of those settings inspired this comment. I see a turbo mode in Glitch's future. We'll keep this in mind for down the road. This is something we will definitely revisit later. Let's make that turbo mode right now. Cool. Making a turbo mode may be easier than you think with the power of build box. In fact, we could easily make one right now with the world we have in only a few short steps. Let's start by duplicating our world. Okay. Yep, you heard me right. We can duplicate entire game worlds. What? Let's select our game world and press W, oh. A, Hi. S or D mm. to duplicate it. Just now um, we have enough for a turbo mode, a hard mode, and whatever other mode you can think of. So before we go any turbo. further, we're going to name these worlds so we oh, know what's so what. Oh, going to keep all of them, okay. Let's name our original world node World 1 Original, then name another one World 1 Turbo, and another one World 1 Hard. And we'll leave these other two for whatever inspires us, maybe even more worlds, and just use what's know? already there as a sandbox to copy and paste from. So let's just name one of these worlds question mark and the other sandbox. Okay, so that only took a few seconds, and we laid the foundation for our different modes by duplicating entire worlds. If that world had 200 scenes in it, we just saved ourselves weeks of work that feature. Let's give our players a way to get to Yeah, that's a very good modes. point. First, let's copy our main menu so we can use a copy of it and tweak it for our different modes. Let's name it Turbo UI. And let's double click on our main menu UI and start by making sure everything is locked down so we don't accidentally mess up any work. The main menu? Done. And let's add a navigation button. Is this the turbo or the main drag menu? our graphic in. Be nice if that did everything. Navigation button on the drag and drop wheel, and place it below the start button, and make sure to name it turbo. All right, I think we're in the turbo it's mode. It's very, very important at this point that we name everything right away, or we could get lost in our mind. All right, where is that turbo UI? Going main menu, turbo menu. Nope, those are the videos I'm making. Ah, here we go, logo. Yes, yeah, it's like it. What, what did he do? Did he, I didn't see. Right, here. Play. Our graphic in and drop it. Navigation button, navigation. On the drag and drop wheel, and place it below the start button and make sure to name it Turbo. It's very, very important at this point that we name everything right away, or we could get lost in our mind map in the menu editor. You saw how quick we were able to grow our game, and if we start doing that without naming things, it will become a complete nightmare for connecting. So, Renaming things makes sense and makes it all much easier. Okay, let's click on the menu editor button in the upper left and we'll back up into the menu editor. Uh, and let's connect our turbo button to the new turbo UI. Then double clicking on the turbo UI, let's update some graphics in there. We could just drag any images into the appropriate option on the drag and drop wheel. Or on items that are already there, we can just update their graphics. Whoa! Let's what? Make sure I looked away for a second. What are you doing? Properly in the scene tree. What? Okay, making sure that record is not enabled. 
Let's add a label in our Turbo UI. To read Turbo. Let's scale. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back. I I don't know what happened. Images into the appropriate option on the drag and drop wheel. Okay, there's images somewhere. Let's find it. Turbo images. Uh, I think this is the UI, yeah. Do, do, do. Start button. Glitch, glitch. Oh, that one's cool. It's going the wrong way. Nope, nope, nope. Glitch extras, here we go. Turbo UI review. Is, is this it? This looks like the regular one. Dark overlay. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe. Oh, because maybe it's like two on top and maybe they're transparent. I don't know. I think, okay, Turbo UI. Let's just give it a go. Um, Image? No. Oh, maybe. Uh, just to be clear, I'm figuring this out as I go along. I'm not an expert. Uh, ooh, yes, put that on negative 90. I bet that looks good. On top. I feel like that's closer. I'm going to step back. Images into the appropriate option on the drag and drop wheel or on items that are already there. We can just update their graphics. Mm. Let's make sure. I think it did background. Did you see that? We moved it up over here. Oh, wait, no, it was image. Because this is the UI and not the game. All right, well, whatever his. Oh, and then we want to move it below some stuff, like these. But, you know, you can't even, I guess there's a little bit of a difference. Well, no, there's a difference. I'm going to do it again. Ooh, maybe we can copy. Oops, stay, don't. Damn it, I moved it. Maybe I can copy because of transparent S. Yeah, I know how to copy. Oh, but now I kind of want it like jerk on top. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm gonna do it again. Oh, but it does it directly. Whatever, and maybe it'll eyeball it. Yeah. Okay, so not exactly the same, but I think mine looks better. Um, I'm just gonna look to see if it looks better. Totally. I'm gonna do it again. Uh, did it the less this time, because I don't think it matters. Yeah, I like it. Um, just to make sure they don't have another image the whole time, and I was using the wrong one. No, because this is all in the UI. All right, uh, different star buttons maybe? Oh, cost, yeah. Coins. All right, let's continue. Make sure that everything is layered properly in the scene tree. Okay, making sure that record is not enabled. Let's add a label in our coin tracker font to read turbo. Let's scale it to two, rotate it a bit over the title. And let's give the title what? a coin .75 tracker? location. Just so fill it to two, add a label, scene tree. Okay, making sure that record is not enabled. Sorry, I don't see it. What? Coin tracker. Oh, because I had a coin tracker.
I had a coin tracker here. Oh, and it was this. But I didn't label it. Or did I? No, no, this one. Font. Default font. Can I change the name? Jepoki is a font I like. If you were wondering which maybe. Okay, so this is what I'm pretty sure is talking about. Pretty sure what Heath is talking about. We should be on a first name basis, I suspect. Um, nope, not where I went here. Uh, labels. Can I change this to coin tracker? Okay. Let's add a label in our coin tracker font to read turbo. Let's scale it to two, rotate it a bit over the title. Oh, yeah, you can just write turbo let's here. Let's give the title a 0.75 opacity just so turbo is a little easier to see. And now let's enable record and animate the label. Oh, but I gotta move this up here. Frame 20. Let's disable record and play the menu. That looks good. I now don't let's drag get the disable. Oh, disable record. The Stop menu it. Button, dropping it on the navigation. <laughs> One more that time. Good. Now let's drag in a white version of the main menu button. Navigation, right? Or oh, is it action? I'm gonna, I'm gonna look. At it. I want to say navigation. Drop it. Drag in a white version of the main menu button. I knew it was. All right, here we go. Drop it on the navigation button option in the drag and drop wheel. And change the opacity to 0.8, put it near the bottom, and let's animate that to fade in. Let's make sure it is set to get us to the main menu, and we're good. Now let's duplicate this menu for our hard mode when we get to it. Alright, I gotta grab this main menu, label it, This and move this down. I feel like this isn't being used. Like, should I be using this? Can I get rid of this other glitch? Game. Game. This is an image. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm just going to use this one instead. Yeah, cool. Yeah, it looks in the middle. I don't. Why, why is this button here? It's supposed to be for the coins? Whatever. Let's go back up. And we're good. Now let's duplicate this menu for our hard mode when we get to it. Let's go back up into the menu editor and selecting the UI, pressing W. Why is this white? Did I move something? Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. Something got moved somewhere, right? Can I can I view this? No. You see that? I think I must have been not paying attention or been moving it the whole time. Sides. Let's see the sides move together. Isn't it like a snap button? Nope. Oh, you know what Heath said in the very beginning? It lock it down. And I locked it down on the other thing, but I didn't lock it down on this. And this is what happens. It's not what I wanted. That's cool, let's just... I feel like this is good.
Yeah, this whole area. How do you know what's like in the screen and what's not in the screen? Nope. Locked down. Oh, it's not even, well, whatever. Okay, what are we doing? Bottom, and let's animate that to fade in. Wait, I want to move this up here. Grab that bad boy, and the information stick to edge. All right. We'll stick to edge. This one looks like it's got other functions on it. Sound. Because this is a button. Oh. This one was just an image. And then I'll probably get rid of that later. I don't know why it's there. Okay. And let's make sure it is set to get us to the main menu. Let's Function back jump. Ah, here we go. Nope, not working. Wait, the main menu button. Kind of annoying. Okay, I'm missing something. Obviously missing something. Oh, wait. Maybe... Here. See what it looks like over there. Duplicate this menu for our hard mode when we get to it. Let's go back up. Main menu. Turbo button. Load here. Start main menu. Oh, turbo button. No. I think, I think I got it. I think I added a turbo button to the turbo menu, but I needed to add a turbo button to the main menu. And that is probably what the turbo icon I was confused about is for. Let's take a look. Up into the menu editor and selecting the UI, pressing W. A, S, or B sure. to duplicate sure. it, and name the new duplicate R. Now, we can just... Con okay, I'm, I don't know what's going on. I'm going to just follow my hunch, and my hunch is here. I need a turbo button. You were not a turbo button. Oh, it was a label. Jet Pokey was the font. Turbo button. Nope, that. Ah, here we go. Turbo button. Oh, probably don't need button in there. Change the opacity. Oh man, I'm just making a. Not working. Maybe the start button. What has he got? He has.
This is the Turbo UI. So the changes were made in the Turbo UI. Let's, let me take a step back. Get a point eight, put it near the bottom, and let's animate that to fade in. Let's make sure it is set to get us to the main menu. All right, I'm gonna just jump back here because I feel like I'm missing. There, we can just update their graphics. All right, let's up the menu editor button in the upper left and go back up into the menu editor and let's connect our turbo button to the new turbo things I think I missed sense. a bunch and you saw how quick we were able to grow our game and if we start doing that without naming things it will become a complete nightmare for connecting things alright so right now he's in the main menu Renaming things makes sense and makes it all much easier. Okay, let's click on the menu editor button in the upper left and go back up into the menu editor. Went back up a little bit more because I, I feel like there's a turbo button. Wheel and place it below the start button and make sure to name it turbo. Oh, oh, it's oh, yeah, okay. Delete that, I see. That, I missed that. Oops. See, now I can't find That's where I was like here. I probably accidentally moved it into another folder. Because why not? There's a lot of folders. I wonder if I can just go in, grab it from here. Control copy, control paste. Yeah, uh, sweet. That worked. I knew that would work. This is how, this is how you learn new shit. Okay, functions. This is a turbo button. It's supposed to go back jump. Menu UI. Sure, sure. Maybe let's hit play. It's very, very important at this point that we name everything right away or we could get lost in our mind map in the menu editor. You saw how quick we were able to grow our game and if we start doing that without naming things it will become a complete nightmare for connecting. So renaming things makes sense and makes it all much easier. Okay, let's click on the menu editor button in the upper left and go back up into the menu editor. And let's connect our turbo button to the new turbo UI. Then right, menu. I don't have a turbo button. Well, I have a turbo button, but it's not connected to the... I feel like he maybe didn't say do that back jump. Will become a complete nightmare. Well, actually, maybe we can function. Um, play. For connecting. So, read mind map in the menu or to name it turbo. Any it's time. very, very important at this point that we name everything right away or we could get lost in our mind map in the menu editor saw how quick we were able to grow our game and if we start doing that without naming things it will become a complete nightmare for connecting so renaming things makes sense and makes it all much easier okay let's click it's a function at default let's keep it that way on the menu editor button in the upper left 
Yeah, default was the answer. Now you go here. Original turbo button goes to turbo UI. Oh, and, and then connect our turbo button to the new turbo UI. Then double clicking on the turbo UI, let's update some graphics in there. We could just drag any images into the appropriate option on the drag and drop wheel or on items that are already there. We can just update their graphics. Let's make sure that everything is layered properly in the scene tree. Okay, making sure that record is not enabled. Let's add a label in our coin tracker font to read turbo. Let's scale it to two, rotate it a bit over the title, and let's give the title a 0.75 opacity, just so turbo is a little easier to see. And now let's enable record and animate the label to fade in at frame 20. Let's disable record and play the menu. That looks good. I see. So that's what I was saying. Okay, so go to this original one. I've go, gone ahead and crossed these. I'm just going to delete it. Delete it. No, nope. Can I delete it now? Nope. Delete button does not delete this. That's... Oh, now delete. Okay. Cannot delete it if it's X'd out in some way, which totally makes sense. I'm going to delete this one. No, never mind. That's why I wanted that one. Um, what am I, I need the, I need the glitch, the UI, yeah, that's cool, but that's not what we're doing. All right, I'm just gonna go grab it from the main one because I know it's there, and I can't unless because it's locked. Unlock it, relock it, paste, stick to edge, turbo. Um, now, what did he say? Set alpha to opacity to zero. And then, yeah, okay, perfect. And then in 20 seconds, the turbo turbo set opacity to 0.9. And then when you hit play, here, play. Okay, here. I think maybe you have to hit that record button, hit this. Zero, enter. Why do I feel like it didn't do what I wanted it to do? Oh, here we go, and then point 0.9. I'll just make it one. Stop trying to be fancy, let's do it. Perfect. I'm gonna, hit, I'm gonna hit this record button. Hope it doesn't fuck anything up. Let's continue. Good. Now let's drag in a white version of the main menu button, dropping it on the navigation button option in the drag and drop wheel, and change the opacity to 0.8. Put it near the bottom, and let's animate that to fade in. Ooh, Let's yeah. make sure it is set to get us to the main menu, and we're good. Now let's duplicate this menu for our hard mode when we get to it. Let's go back up into the menu editor. And Let's pause at main menu. Opacity to zero. And then, sure, let's go 10. And opacity, oh wait, perfect. Was that zero over here? Yep. And because I can grab it. Oh, nope. No. Lock. This is why we lock things. Grab the main menu and move it down here. 
So it kind of will, oh, come on. So it can't read my mind, and that's bling. Do this. Perfect. That's what I want. Where we're at the, the map thing. And selecting the UI, pressing W, A, S, or D to duplicate it, and name the new duplicate part. Now we can just connect the start button to our Turbo UI to the Turbo World node. And let's just check one more thing, making sure the Game Over buttons are routed correctly, that the main menu is set to the main menu, and Retry is set to Restart, which will always restart whichever world you just died in. And then one... How do we know that? Um... Here, back to glitch original and retry, restart. Okay, cool. The last setting to adjust. Let's select our turbo world in the menu editor and change the time warp to 75. Now let's have a play. Slow down, sir. Time warp to 75. Now let's have a look. Yeah, I mean, this makes sense. You want to do different levels or uh, difficulties. Let's give it a go. Cool, yep. Oh, you, I wonder. You know what I'm going to do? Hold up. Turbo game mode, grab it, back out of it. I wanted to add that uh, cool background shit. Do I have to go in and do that to all of them? Maybe I can set it, copy it, paste it. Let's give that a go. Uh, I think this was it. And Background. Yeah, that makes sense. And then maybe, okay, move this background on top of this background. Oh, I'm sorry, on top of this background. Yeah, set that to 90. Opacity, what, 0.25, I think? Oh, but it doesn't move. Oh, we can make it move, can we? Is that a speed? Yeah, there we go. Um, 1.5. So just be like dots moving. You know what I also wanted to see? In the original background, there was this. I want to add that to the background. Oh, and I can make that like a faster speed too. Put that on top. Rotation at 90. And this we can have speed two. I wonder if that's a thing. What happens? Okay. So let's just add some negative speed because I'm guessing that's that. Uh, Negative 90, oh, okay, okay. So if we have this at negative 90, it's gotta deal with how it's rotating. Speed 1.5, negative 90, sure. Did I need to save that? Yeah, okay, so that's cool. Yeah, buddy. Invisible puncher doesn't point down. That's not good. I, I, oh. I looked at that invisible counter earlier. I don't know if you were there, but uh, I can figure out. Anyways, all that stuff I did totally work, so that's great. Oh, 
Oh, but it was in all of the backgrounds. Did you notice that? I didn't, I just noticed that. Look at that. So if you make the edit to the start, it will be in all of them. So I wonder if I take this light, copy it, go to here, paste it. Let's put that shit like right in the fucking room. Yep. Oh, but I got the debug on. Oh no, see now it's not there. All right, well, who knows? Okay, let's continue. It's a cool way to die. This is really fun. So now let's double click on the hard UI and change our turbo label to be hard and back up in the menu editor. Hold up, hold up. All right. Uh, the turbo, oh, here it is, and hard. Let's connect the start button to the hard UI to the hard world, and let's go into the main. I think that's going to be this one. And we're going into the main menu now, I suspect, to create the hard button. In menu, and drag in our hard mode button, making sure to rename it. Let's make the necessary connections in the menu editor, and preview our change in making sure everything is working perfectly. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Where is that button? Turbo UI? No, maybe regular UI. Here we go. Perfect. So we want to go into the UI. No, we want to go into the main menu, then add a button. Shift, hold shift down. Ba bam. Default. Default. Yeah, because then it creates this. Oh, but we should name it the hard button. Yep, and then you can see the name right, right there. I like it. I'm happy. This looks great. Now we need to go into the hard mode world and make it hard. Kick back, and I'll make some adjustments for us. Of course. Here, here are some things you'll notice I'm doing. I'm rearranging mountain enemies, sometimes adding more, in the attempt to constrict the area the player has to move through. You see, I double up Making it harder, enemies, okay. And I test it with both the scenes of Lined and randomized to see if not only the scenes work, but one works with all the rest. Because if it's impossible, that's no good. We want hard mode, not to throw the device against the wall mode. And for enemies, I could also adjust their spawn times and speeds, but I think I'll just increase the time warp by seven or so to achieve a similar increase in difficulty. We can always go in and make those manual changes if we wanted to. All right, let's take a look at our new art mode. This is great. So now we've got two additional game modes to play, but what would be really neat is if we allowed these modes to be something the player could work for. So let's change the start buttons on our 
Turbo UI and Hard UI to be lock buttons. Sure. Let's double click on our Turbo UI and select our Start button in the lead. Now let's drag a lock button into the menu. Lock buttons can be set up to be Start button, delete, label. I don't have a lock button. Oh, I don't have a lock button. Buttons. I do have a lock button. So we're choosing. But I don't, where's the main menu? Oh, it's just I, I moved it down. Okay. Be unlocked using in game currency like coins or as an in-app purchase for real money. Let's start by naming the button Start and dragging in our Start button graphic into the image option. And then we need an image to display while it is still locked, something that communicates its cost. Now let's scroll down and set its price. I'm going to make it 10 coins so it's easier to demo for you, but you would Looking for the lock button. I wonder if I can just type in lock. That did not work. Turbo UI lock. What did what did we check in? A locked image. Would of course. Now let's scroll down and set its price. I'm going to make it ten coins, so it's easier to demo for you. But you. And set its price. I'm going to. Wait, I think I need this. Sometimes he's got to jump like two minutes back or something. For real money. Let's start by naming the button start and dragging in our start button graphic into the image option. And then we need an image to display while it is still locked, something that communicates its cost. Now let's scroll down and set its price. I'm going to make it 10 coins so it's easier to demo for you, but you would of course make it match the communicated cost. Okay, let's repeat the... Wait, what are you... 10 coins? What do I do that? What did you do that? I think it's that one. I thought they call everything coins too, is that it? Communicates its cost. Now let's scroll down and set its price. I'm going to make it 10 coins so it's easier to demo for you. But you would, of course, make it match the communicated cost. Okay, let's repeat the process for the hard UI. Let's delete the old start button, drag in the Got it, got it, got it. Give me a second. Oh, uh, Command S. Always save it because the shit crashes. Uh, turbo to turbo. That was how we want this one. So I realized I didn't make any changes to the hard, but I don't, you know, I think you got the idea. Delete. Put this. Button, right? It's a button. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's a lock button. That's right. So we go to the buttons, go to the lock button, drag it up over here, and grab this image. Locked image. Not sure. Oh, lock image selected is probably like a hover or some some sort. That's kind of cool. I wonder if you animate the two. 
in game currency 10. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Switch. In the lock button, get the appropriate images in order, set the price, go back out, and make sure it's all connected and play our game. Oh, it became unconnected. Probably when you. Because the old button got deleted. That's why. So it's not that it became unconnected, it's that you deleted that connection. Well, I deleted that connection. I had no coins. I should probably should have. Let's get some coins. Uh, if that comes up again, then it's just the same. Okay. Alright. Let's go into the game. How do I close? I don't, I don't, I don't want... Oh, because I'm in the UI. I want the game. I want the game, and I want... Can I just give myself coins? Did that not go to the main menu? Game over, load. Maybe because... Oh wait, before... Oh yes. Booyah! Invisible fool without the countdown. Fucking main menu. Okay, so my shit is not working. Game over. Load game over UI. Maybe. I'm gonna go. It's this one. Let's give it a go. I got no coins. Go, 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 go. Jump, shit. Main menu. Ah, see, there we go. That thousand coin image <laughs> is not sexy. Yeah. Alright, let's. I got nine levels, so one out of nine. I could just not die. We're gonna do this until we give up. I was trying to get in there. I like how you can quickly play test this so that's super nice. Uh, skills. Take me this thing. Come on, coins. I got two coins. Yes. Fucking boss. Main menu. Turbo. Yeah, uh, and look at that. This, wait, can I? Can I? Yes, we try. Every time you start, it clicks to the right. Uh, some more coins. Menu. Cool. It's great. I think that's a. About it. Let's see if there's anything else. Otherwise, uh, good number seven video, and see you at eight. This works perfectly.
Now in the next video, we are going to create a coin shop. And